Hey guys and welcome back. Oh, people just won't leave me in peace. I got a bunch of questions on like, how do you do this? How do you do this? Can you make a fucking video about it? You have different regions here. You have sales here. And it's super easy for us to rank them um, and give them a number in the front end, right? Because we have something called the rank function. So let's look at um, how to do that in the back end. But first, so we have regions here and then we want to see measure sales. And we want to rank which of our region is number one, number two based on the rank. So how do we do that? Super simple, right? So we say, yeah, just rank this based on um, the sum of sales, right? We get the number. So north is sum of sales is 5,000, so it's one. And then we can just, yeah rank them um like this super simple super easy but how do you do that in the back end because um this rank function is actually just a front end chart function right so how do you do that in the back end all right so here's our data we have uh, a table called data temp it's an inline table what we're gonna do is we're gonna manipulate it right so i'm gonna start creating a new table and i'm gonna say load from my table and then I'm gonna end this so what am I loading I want to ro load the region I want to sum up the sales right because it's the sum of sales um, then I actually want the row number for that summed for each of the value so I'm gonna say row number I'm sure there are different ways to do it so if you have a if you have another way, I think you could use auto number um, with the combination of region and sales. So you could do that or, you know, I'm just giving each of the rows a number. But now that we're giving the rows a number and we are doing an aggregate here, what do we have to do? Because we have an aggregate here, we need to group, right? So I say here group by region and order by sales. And in this case, how do I want the rows to be? So I could say ascending, that would be from the least sales to the max, or I could say descending. So in this case, I'm saying descending because um, we want the one with the max sales as rank number one, right? So I say descending. Oh, but then we have a problem. We have two tables then. So I just wanna drop the first table. Since we're doing the manipulation here, let's just drop this, right? So drop table data temp and just gonna give the name here as sum of sales as sales good load it go to the front end and go to edit uh, i'm just gonna add my new new dimension so now when i add this here so the row number associated with each region is based on the sum of sales right now this one doesn't work anymore because we have a new dimension. So if we go here, uh, we do region, right? So now we have pretty much the same, uh, same values, right? So let's see if auto number works. So we put auto number region and sum of sales for it to create a unique value. Um, and then we called it new ranking. So we put that here, yeah. So that works as well. So you could use row number or auto number over here. All right, guys. Peace. Have a good one. Check out um, check out the links below. I have something really exciting coming out soon. So um, so sign up for the newsletter. You'll hear about it first. It's, it's gonna be cool. Gonna learn a lot. All right. Sorry, guys. Peace.